All right, indicial equations. A couple of things you need to know. If a to the m is equal to a to the n, then of course m equals n. Rocket science, yeah? Yes. All right. Rocket science. This is a tool to help you understand something else. It, that is easy itself, all right, but how you utilize that gets a little bit sketchy sometimes. Okay? So, the other thing, if you want inexact solutions, require the use of a calculator. Okay? So, you will need a case calculator for some questions in this exercise. These questions say there's no calculator. Yep, so the first five questions say no calculator. So, if we have a look at question 1a, it says 2 to the x equals 32. How are you going to work that out without a calculator? Would you have to use that's like the laws? Six. Six. What would it be? No, in the it is yeah, no, no. Not You're on the right track, guys. What you're doing is right. Right, so we need to do both sides. So 2 to the x equals 2 to the something, but what 2 to the four. something is it's not 4. I think it's 5. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 oh, is, five. is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, so it's 2 to the 5. Therefore, x equals 5. Oh, yeah. All right. right? Happy with that? So, 10 to the minus x equals 1 on 100. Yeah, so I need to set this one as, as a base of 10, okay? So 10 to the minus x equals, what is it? 10. It's 10 squared underneath, which means it's a oh, yes. negative, right? Yeah. 10 squared is 100, <laughs> yeah? No, 10 squared is 100, isn't it? Yeah. Right, and it's underneath, so it's a negative. So therefore, <laughs> x equals 2. Why doesn't x equal negative 2? Because they're both negative, yeah. All right. So now it gets a little bit trickier. Okay. Have a look at question two. You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to use calculator. You've got to find the value of n. Okay. Two to the three n plus one equals sixty-four. Okay. Now we know two to the five is thirty-two, so two to the six is going to be sixty-four. Okay. So two to the three n plus one equals 2 to the 6. Therefore, 3n plus 1 equals 6. Yeah? That's what that rule says, isn't it? Isn't it easy, Braith? Oh, go back. <laughs> Wasn't this easy? Yeah, that was easy. Yeah, now move it. Yeah, that's all right. Right. Just keep it there. Happy with this? Yeah. So 64 is 2 to the 6. Mm. So 3n plus 1 equals 6. Then you just simple backtrack. Move There's this over here. So 3n equals 5, n equals 5 on 3. That's it. That's it. All right. You want to go even trickier? Yes. No. Of course you do. Question 3. 4 to the 2x equals 8 to the x minus 1. All right. First step, get them to the same base. What are we going to do? We're going to go to 2. So 2 squared... 2x equals 2 cubed x minus 1. Right? Expand the brackets. So that comes out at 2 to the 4x equals 2 to the 3x minus 3. So therefore, 4x equals 3x minus 3. All right? Bring this over here. x equals negative 3. Right? Easy. Uh, that was 4 a. No, 3 a, sorry. 3 a. You want to do 4 d? Okay. So 4 d is 81 2 minus x divided by 27 x plus 3 equals 9 to the 2x. Easy. Yeah? Right. No? no. 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 no.
<laughs> no, no. It is easy once you learn the pattern. All right, it's just a process of following these simple steps. So twenty-seven right. is three cubed. Yep. So three cubed x plus three. Eighty-one is nine squared. Which is also three to the four. So you just go for like the highest power possible. You go for the lowest base, yeah. yeah. All right, the simplest base, the base yeah. you cannot go any further. All right, so let's go through that again because that happened real quick. We know 9 is 3 squared. So 3 squared to the 2x. Happy with that? So we're chasing, we're chasing the base 3. Okay, so 81 is 9 squared. And if each 9 is 3 squared, then 81 is 3 to the 4. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. All right? 9 squared times 3 will get you 27. So 3 to the 3 is 27. Now you just expand all your brackets. So you get 3 to the 8 minus 4x divided by 3 to the 3x plus 9. And that apparently has to equal 3 to the 4x. Okay, now we're using index laws again. We've got to divide here, same base, indices. So we're going 3 to the 8 minus 4x minus 3x plus 9, and that has to equal 3 to the 4x. Yeah? yeah so 8 <coughs> minus 9, 3 to the negative 1, minus 4, minus another 3, minus 7x, has to equal... 3 to the 4x. Technically speaking, at this stage here, all right, we could have just gone straight to, all right, I actually might do this in a different colour, we could have gone straight to 8 minus 4x minus 3x plus 9 has to equal 4x, okay, because our bases are the same. So we could have gone straight there, all right, but we are now at minus 1 minus 7x equals 4x, okay. So if we simplify that, we're going to bring this over here. Minus 1 equals, uh, what's that, 3x? 11x, sorry, yeah. My maths is awesome. All right. So therefore, x equals negative 1 on 11. Okay, which is actually the answer in the book, which is awesome. Okay. So again, it's using the same stuff we've used in all the other exercises. Okay. Breaking these down into their lowest bases possible. Expanding the brackets using that index law there, okay? Using the index laws to simplify this into one line, all right? And then we start using a new one. Well, if this is to this power and this is to this power, then those powers have to be the same thing, all right? And then you come out with an X as this, okay? The rest of them are pretty much exactly the same. Um, the rest of the exercise, you can use your calculator, okay? So that's how you do them.